What is going on guys, CW Pokey here back with a brand new video. With the release of Pokemon Sun and Moon inching closer and closer, information is finally becoming unveiled and we are seeing some of the new types of designs that Game Freak has chosen for the new generation. Learning that the region takes place in the new tropical Alola region, heavily influenced by Hawaii's natural landscapes and environments, I began to question what possible new species Game Freak could design for the new games. Here's my list of 10 new ideas for species and ideas that could get new Pokemon designs. Kicking the list off at number 10, we've seen the original typings Fire, Water, and Grass intermingle and gain dual typings. Water Grass happened with the Ludicolo line, and Fire Water made its first debut with the mythical Volcanion. But what about Grass Fire? Because of Hawaii's tropical theming, I think this generation could very well see its very first Tiki-based Pokemon. A lot of these designs give great mock-ups of what a Tiki line of Pokemon would look like, and most of these seem to agree that Grass Fire type could easily be utilized here. It would be an awesome way to include a new type combination, as well as make a sick looking Pokemon with its own unique style. In number 9, I decided to go with a hummingbird. We've seen many different types of birds throughout each generation, and it looks like we may already have a glimpse of what could be the early encounterable bird for Sun and Moon. But that still doesn't mean a hummingbird wouldn't make for an interesting concept. This mock-up looks exceptional, and I like the fairy flying typing that the author gave it. A lot of designs also show a hummingbird with elements of plants and flowers, suggesting that a grass flying typing could be what it'd have. Despite Rally already taking dibs at this fairly uncommon type combination, I think it seems very possible given the theme of the new region. After seeing the new water type starters design, I got inspired by the circus seal design and thought about a jester type of Pokemon for number 8. There was some concept art that I was able to find and thought it looked downright amazing. I'm a huge fan of split evolutions as I feel like they're underutilized, so finding fan art with this imaginary line being a split path evolution is really interesting. It looks like Dramagico can evolve into either a ghost fire type like Chandelure or a ghost psychic type like the mythical Pokemon Hoopa with both designs having very elaborate and intimidating features. Everyone knows that one of the reasons people travel to Hawaii is to enjoy the beautiful ocean waves, so of course a couple of aquatic based Pokemon had to make this list. Number 7 goes to a Pokemon based on a dolphin. I covered this design in my very first Hype Talk video because I'm absolutely in love with the designs of these Pokemon and could easily see them fitting in with the new games. Some other designs look very interesting as well, potentially showcasing some cool type combinations like Water Dark or Water Psychic. Either way, a dolphin type Pokemon feels like a given for Generation 7. Number 6 goes to a pink flamingo. Spritzy's design kind of looks like a flamingo, if it didn't have those notable long legs, so I don't feel like that really counts. There's a lot of fan art though of flamingo Pokemon which shows that a lot of other people feel it should make its debut in the series. This fake mon Magentary is exceptionally awesome because the author went through the effort to create descriptions and evolution info for each of the three Pokemon. It's always amazing to see fans go through such measures to really make fake mon look convincing as if they were already a part of the game. Halfway through at number 5, and this one goes to one of my favorite ideas that I could think of. A long-standing tradition in Mexican culture, a piñata isn't so much tied to Hawaiian life, but still would make for a hilariously amazing design. It was hard to actually find piñata fake mons, however, since the typical result was, well, this. But I was able to find one design of a piñata that I thought looked especially amazing. One thing I thought to myself though was, what type combination would this Pokemon have? My guess would be Fairy Fighting type, but I figured I'd ask for your guys' help too. Type in the comment section if you think you know a better fit for this Pokemon. Number 4 goes to yet another bird, but for a very good reason. A peacock is well known for its stunning designs when it fluffs up its tails. Inspiration from this animal could end up in a Pokemon that would look incredibly grand and possibly have the option for alternative designs or forms. There are a bunch of cool designs that showcase just how much potential there is to design a Pokemon off of one of the most stunning animals in nature. Serenope looks incredible with its theme of being the all-seeing Pokemon, and having these tail feathers actually contribute to its psychic powers. Narrowing down to the third spot, one type combination that is still missing from the series is a fairy dark type, presumably because of its contrasting themes, but I feel like there's one type of Pokemon that could work. A dark pixie sort of theme, or even a succubus like Pokemon could wind up being one of the more interesting designs for a new creature. Succumbra is an example of a Pokemon that seems sort of magical, like most fairy types are, while still being very sinister and dark. And of course, while searching for this type of Pokemon, go figure Gardevoir somehow made it here. You're welcome. Now let's move on to number two. Number two has to go to one of my favorite types of animals, the Koala Bear. Another Pokemon that I mentioned in the hype talk, I'm surprised the Koala Bear hasn't made it yet since it's a well-known animal and there's a lot of fan art for various Koala evolutions. Koalas aren't actually a part of the Hawaiian wildlife, but many associate koalas as being tropical due to living in warmer climates in Australia as well as their love for the exotic eucalyptus plants. Either way, this one is a personal request. Game Freak, please make a Koala Pokemon. And finally, as my last pick, 
Going back to the theme of water and ocean life, a sea urchin would be a unique idea for a brand new line of Pokemon. These poisonous creatures are something to be worrisome of when venturing out in water and this piece of fan art really shows that threat. I also like how this evolutionary line almost feels like a bug evolution, starting off with a basic form, then a shell or a cocoon form, followed by the final evolution that's very different from the initial Pokemon. Taking what looks like a sand dollar concept for the first Pokemon seems pretty unique as well and I think it would be one of the lesser expected types of Pokemon out there. And that concludes my top 10 list for new species and ideas that I hope make it into Pokemon Sun and Moon. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and click that subscribe button for more content. If you're still itching for more Sun and Moon speculation, check out my first top 10 video of mega evolutions that I hope find their way into the new generation. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.